I'm two-time Olympian turned big mountain skier Kaylin Richardson, and so much of my life has been dedicated to carving. It is the most fun turn, even if it's super low tide and there's not much snow or it's a huge powder day. It all comes back to being in control of the skis and really letting those edges engage. What I have to say is there's three things that I think are really important, at least for me when I'm carving. And the first is start easy. I see far too many people try to carve on a steeper slope. Trust me, sometimes carving on steep slopes is not possible. You have to start easy, especially when you're more of a beginner at that carving feeling. What it comes down to is try a green slope. Get that feeling of the railroad tracks, of the ski engaging at the top of the turn. You have to have a lot of trust and a lot of touch on the snow to get that feeling. Once you get that muscle memory on a green slope, then you can bring it to a blue, to a red, and even to a black diamond. The next part is you have to get forward in the transition. In between turns, you have to get your hips up so that you can get that tip pressure to begin to engage and bend that ski. What I see a lot of times is when someone's new to carving, they see these big aggressive movements and they just throw their skis laterally from side to side. You have to establish that pressure by getting forward and then working that ski using your shins on the front of the boot. Last but not least, for a lot of those people that learn how to ski when there wasn't shaped skis, you had a narrower stance. I get it. That was the older style. But now that we have shaped skis and you can really use that whole ski to your benefit to get that amazing acceleration, open up your stance. Hip to shoulder width apart to kind of get that feeling so you have that platform, that athletic stance to start that car from. What I see sometimes with really good skiers that have too narrow of a stance is they handicap themselves and they end up having to open up their stance in the middle of the turn or else they'll fall over. Think of any kind of sport. If you're about hip width apart, someone could come and try to push you and you're in such a solid position, so balanced. Those three simple tips can help you so much in your carving journey. First, start easy on green slopes. Get that muscle memory so you can bring it up the hill. Secondly, move forward in the transition so that you're in control of the turn. And third, have a nice athletic stance, a place of balance to start from. Then all of a sudden, you'll be shredding down the hill and people like me will be sitting on a chairlift here looking down at you and saying, Whoa, they are good at carving. <laughs>